Okay. I greet everyone. I appreciate you all. Now, in the previous video, we learned how to use image to search 1688. Now, we are going to go further to learn how to identify the supplier that has the cheapest price, one, the supplier that has a good price, two, the supplier that whose products are good and those supplier whose products are inferior. That's what we are going to be looking at quickly. Now, since we already know what to do with this camera icon, so let's just do it. I click on my camera icon. I want to look for a waist trainer. Then, I click on the, the uh, image. And then I select the image I want to search. My own might show differently from yours because I'm actually using 1688 app. Okay. I'm actually using 1688 app to do mine. So now this is all the suppliers, whether they are manufacturers or distributors or retailers, they are all here. So this is the page that will show you which one to select. So what I do whenever I arrive here, there's tendency to be confused, especially if you're a newbie, you're a beginner. But what I do, I don't go for the cheapest. I don't go, I don't do that. Because as long as China is concerned, when it is really, really cheap, it is really, really bad. So don't go for too cheap or the cheapest product. Because it also means it's the baddest, the worst product, okay? So what I do for me is that I go for the one that is relatively cheap, okay? Now, I have 38 yuan, I have 52 yuan, I have 49, I have 35, I have 33, I have 34. I won't even try this 9 yuan, no, no, I won't try it, I won't branch there. So let me go with 34. Okay, let me go with 34. Somebody might come and say, no, I don't want 34 on. I want a uh, 90 yuan on. They are all here. They are all here. Any one you want, they are all here. We have 38, we have 29, we have 8, we have 65. But me, from my little experience, <laughs> I'm going for 34 going for 34 let me see whether i can be able to meet up that supplier's demand because they all have their demand i click on that page to lead me to the person to the supplier's page okay so when you look at it you see that there is a place there is 37 rmb 36 34 now the higher the quantity the cheaper the price if you're buying just three you say three is the MOQ that's the three is the minimum order quantity if you're buying just three you're buying it for 37 RMB if you're buying 10 and above you're buying it for 36 if you're buying 100 and above you're buying it for 34 okay now how do I know whether this man is selling the real thing i quickly i don't fail to do that i quickly go to the evaluation that's where i quickly check first when i come to the evaluation and i check like this man doesn't have one single evaluation once i come here and you don't have evaluation i've marked you bad then another thing i look out for is here how many have you been able to sell in the past 60 days what is your percentage repurchasing rate this one have 42.9 you know they can fake all this thing so in the past 90 days he has only sold four hot uh, waste trainer 
No, no, no. I don't like this guy. I don't want to buy from him. His products will not give me what I want. Okay. So let me go for this one here. Let me go for. Let me go for forty-five yuan. See what I will have here. Okay, this one, the minimum order quantity is three. No evaluation too. Okay, no evaluation. I must buy the one that has evaluation compulsory. No evaluation. See this guy here? His minimum order quantity is still on the high side. I won't go there. No evaluation. Nobody has even bought in the past 90 days. Is a no no. I won't buy from him. I will not buy from that guy. I will not buy from him. Let me try this one out. Okay, MLK3, Zeric is okay. Wow, are you kidding me? He has sold one round 42 in the past 30 days. Although he doesn't have a valuation, I can buy from him. Yes, he has sold 142 of this hot bed. Do no evaluation. I can buy from him. But I actually prefer the one that has all the factors I'm looking for in the same page. So I'll keep looking for it. You see, you don't just go search, collect anyone and send to your agent. Before, after buying, you start quarreling the agent that they bought something wrong for you. It's not the agent. You, you did not sell it well. You did not search well. You didn't look for the best. You just went to 1688 and saw anything that you saw and then you brought it in for people, for your agent to buy for you. So if you do your homework well, you get the right thing out from 1688. Yeah, I'll keep looking for it until I see what I'm looking for. If I don't see, I don't buy. Yes, here you are. Here you are. Five star evaluation. Is MLK is okay? The price <laughs> on the high side, actually. So I'll go with him. Let me copy his link. Let me copy his link. Copy his link. I'll go with this guy. He's okay. He has sold 14. His repurchasing percentage is 33.3. .3. He's in business and he has evaluation. So I prefer, although his price is high, okay, but when you buy from this kind of shop on 1688, you're sure that, okay, somebody else has bought, has used, and have something to say. That's why they will come back to write. 
So always try to translate what they wrote. Is it a good once you see five star, I know that is a good is good remark. If it is not five star, it's not a good remark. Okay. So and also in your in checking that try to make sure that at least the evaluation is a bit high. At least shouldn't be less than five. I'm not saying you should not buy. There are some I look at you. Look at your store, look at what you have to offer. Maybe you're just one year old on 1688. Okay. I give you a try. I give you a try. Maybe if I wanted to buy 20, I can just buy meet up your MOQ and then bring it to Nigeria. Use my very hand and review your product before I invest more on it.